Hey everybody, it's Bruce. In this video you get to see my television blow up after I've attempted to repair it. Enjoy. A few weeks ago my wife and I were watching some TV when suddenly our TV blew up. Well, it didn't really blow up, it just kind of like made a popping sound and some white smoke started pouring out the bottom. So, uh, a little bit after that I decided to go ahead and take the television apart see if I could see what might be wrong with it just out of chance. I'm not a, an electrician or anything like that, but you know, I played with Arduino and made a couple circuits, so I you know, know a tiny, tiny bit. So I looked at it, and one thing I could see is it looked like some of the capacitors had like got puffy, and so uh, I thought that might be the problem. I went on to some electronic electrician's form or something like that, and, and kind of told them about my story and several people said yeah that could be the problem probably is a problem but it may not be the root of the problem so anyway I kind of learned a little bit about the capacitors you know just looking at the numbers and then went on eBay and I actually found almost exactly the same ones different brand but same specification exactly the same size and everything for about uh, eight eight dollars shipped or something like that to my house so I went ahead and and purchased those and like a couple weeks later they arrived come came from China and so I went ahead and s tried to install them it was pretty easy to take the old ones out I just you know heated up the solder and they pulled out they did have some kind of weird plastic thing at the other end of them that was kind of capturing them but it wasn't a big deal to get them out as you can see right here in the video so then I just soldered in the new ones and that was pretty simple too and at that point, I was feeling pretty hopeful. I was thinking, okay, this might work. The, you know, the old ones came out easy. The new ones went in easy. Everything looks fine. Uh, so I went ahead and started the television up. And immediately, I was worried because I could hear this, like, little scratching sound, almost like uh, a rodent, you know, a mouse running or something in a wall. It was just kind of a strange sound. And, you know, I don't think... A television like this should have any kind of mechanical sounds like that. It sounds like something is moving or whatever. And I also heard that sound before the other one uh, blew up. Basically, like the day before, I heard some strange sound coming out, coming from behind the television. So anyway, so that sound started happening again uh, right when I turned it on here. So uh, right away, I was pretty worried that it wasn't going to work. But anyway, it kept playing, and so I let it play. And well, you can see what happened next. There it goes. Yeah, this is exactly the same thing that happened the first time too, so I think it probably uh, popped those three capacitors again, and there must be a reason why that it did that. You know, uh, something must be causing them to, to blow up. I, I don't know what it is, and I'm not uh, good enough in electronics to really diagnose and figure out what the, the root cause of it is. So at this point, I'm probably just going to recycle this TV and get a new one. But I thought I would go ahead and share the video just uh, so anybody else might get some value out of it. Uh, if nothing else, hopefully you enjoyed watching the, uh, the smoke pouring out of the television. I thought that was kind of cool looking. Anyway, that's it. Talk to you all later. Bye.